What up, it's Timber here. With the Forever Purge out now, I decided to do my reviews for the Purge movies. Uh, starting off with the very first one that started off, and that is 2013's The Purge. Uh, the Purge premiered all the way back on... All the way back uh, on June 7, 2013. I don't know, I don't know this thing with my brother and sister. I, I mean, when I first saw this movie, I had no idea what type of thing was even about. I knew there was like... You know, the trailer did indicate that the um, client, like, this client has been leaving for 24 hours, so I did not even, you know, have high hopes for this, but it was Blumhouse, and they had, you know, um, came on to do, like, quite, because Blumhouse is a company that really makes movies out of, like, bus fare, you know, they don't make movies, like, for, uh, they don't, they rarely make expensive films, and so, yeah, uh, Blumhouse has been having, like, a trick of really doing films over the past couple of years before this, like, prior to this film. And Tom Brock, the film had Ethan Hart, and I really like Ethan Hart, so I saw watch this film uh, once, and I thought this movie was hands down awesome. You know, Ethan Hart pretty much playing, like, the uh, father in this was really cool. I mean, Ethan Hart really plays his character really well. You know, if you guys don't really know much about the uh, Hope, um... Like the uh, whole, um, the whole uh, synopsis. It's pretty much like a dystopian um, action thriller uh, that's that was written and directed by James uh, the Monaco, who pretty much is the creator of this um, you know, film franchise. And it stars Ethan Hawke along with Game of Thrones actress uh, Lena Headey. Uh, you also had Rain actress uh, Adeline K um, Kane and Max Burkholder, who you might know as the uh, as um. You know, as the little kid, as a Jeff Gunn's um, kid from, uh, what you call it, uh, from Daddy Daycare, you know, uh, he was also in this, and, it's pretty, and they pretty much play like this, uh, you know, um, wealthy family who finds himself in danger by a group of, uh, of murderers who are, um, these group of gangs who are murdering, um, during the annual purge, which is a night where, like, all crimes, including murder, is, um, you know, is legal for 24 hours. I mean, the movie has some really intriguing, um, talent on board. It was produced by Micah Bay, of all people. Uh, I didn't even knew this. It was also based on a, a Star Trek, um, episode called, uh, The Return of, uh, Arknaz. I at least never really knew that, actually. Uh, you also had, uh, Reese, um, Rakeville, who plays, like, the, uh, pretty much, like, the member of the, uh, Purge. Uh, but, man, this thing was so fun, entertaining. It... I guess you could consider a horror film if you really want to, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was much better than it had any chance of being, because I did not really have too much high hopes for the, um, for the 2013 Up Purge film, uh, it's definitely really, you know, um, this one, uh, Ethan Hawke, like, playing the, uh, you know, um, pretty much the, uh, um, patriarch of the, uh, family was really, um, intriguing. It being from Planet of Doom was cool. I mean, the movie did pretty well when it got released as well. Um, it made about 89.3 million in the box office. So, yeah, I mean, for um, you know, for a small film like this, it did pretty decent. I mean, uh, the film only cost about uh, 3 million to make, so there's that. Uh, Lena Headey, it was pretty cool seeing, you know, uh, Game of Thrones actress Lena Headey um, pop up in a horror film like this. That was interesting to watch. Uh, the whole, um, I mean, the whole house breaking thing. At first, this really felt like just a, a horror version of Home Alone in, in a way, in a weird way. That's why when I first saw the show, I was like, "Wait, did they just take Home Alone and just make this thing into a horror film?" But no, uh, it's just like a where crimes legal for twelve. I mean, this is something that could probably happen in real life, but who knows if that's ever really gonna happen? But we'll see. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on the 2013, um, on the very first Purge from 2013? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? What are some of your favorite parts? Some of your favorite moments? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timmy's time.